Well, I want to show the magic of a spooky rife machine. But first, before I actually show this, if you have any doubts as to the settings, make sure you go to the Spooky2 website and look up Spooky Remote Upgrade, and it tells you all the settings there. 20 volts, um, F2 equals F1 times 11. Check off, add F1 to F2, inverse sync. And it's got a little circle here. You change this to a 3, and spike length to 15. Only positive spikes and a spike count of one, and amplitude is changed to 20. And that is exactly what we have on the software here. So I'm going to show you on the scope what it looks like. This is actually magic. <laughs> and I just put a, it's on it just a custom plane, custom frequency. So when you start it off, you can see, let's just, just pause it and hit start again. So basically this is a complete wavelength going from here to here. So at the start of the wavelength it does a positive spike. That's that dot. And then it does, you know, it, it does this. Basically this is the square wave right here and one here. But it's doing harmonics within it. The 11th harmonic hits a positive spike and repeats the circle. The 11th harmonic hits a positive spike. I think this is the only thing that's out there that does this stuff. This this puppy will probably, um, if, you know, it's about the best in the business, even though the price is low. And I don't sell this stuff. I don't have nothing to do with them. I just got a few of these puppies and uh, the machines. And um, the more I get into it, the more I'm excited about it. It's pretty it's pretty great stuff. Now, you can also use these. You know, I can use the alleged frequencies. I'll say they're alleged because... None of this is approved by the FDA. It's all kind of experimental, but you can do what you want. But Holder Clark has frequencies for parasites. The the consolidated annotated frequency list has frequencies for parasites. So this might be a good way to get rid of parasites too. You know, I don't know. It may be. I don't want to make a broad statement out there about it being a fact, but um, now you can also use this with the, you know this can be used with the remote or the contact method. Um, the remote has been greatly improved and the only setting you would need to change on this is if there's frequencies um, above 500,000 or if any of them in the frequency set are above 500,000 you change this 11 to a 3 but uh, you can see the waveform that's actually made on here so um, you know it's, it's actually in the software itself but you can actually see it on a scope too. Um, you know, it's the theory. You know, I can't state. You know, it's ironclad. You know, it's like you just if it's not endorsed by the medical establishment, I guess you can't state anything or whatever. But it's a theory that the positive spikes is also something that's harmful to the microbes big time. Now, Holder Clark made a statement about positive offset and positive electricity or positive spikes on the waveform that they are actually, they will harm the microbes but are beneficial to the immune system cells. They'll actually charge them up. Um, I don't want to make that broad statement again, but that's what she said. She did this a little bit different theory where she was using positive offset. But again, this is having a, an eleventh harmonic within the wave. So, for instance, if we change this, let me just stop this a second. Say, for instance, the waveform it's not over five hundred thousand, but say it was over five hundred thousand, we would change that to a three, and you can see that changes, and then we would run it. It's loading waveforms. And you probably get a little more clear example of what's going on. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not a more clear example, but you could see there's the, this is the wave right here, except it has three spikes. That is if it's over 500,000. Well, let me take that out so you can see what the actual waveform is. Um, what's actually going on here? If we say this was a one.
you can see this would be the wave right here one you know that's one square wave one square wave um, so with the positive spike So anyway, it's uh, it's a it's a vastly improved tool over anything that's out there. This is probably the even though it's, the price on this thing is low, it's probably better than anything out there. That's the amazing part about it. It's probably better than anything out there, bar none, no matter what the price, because this is actually combining the output from two channels to make this harmonic and that harmonic allegedly makes this wave like if you're using a frequency that supposedly is you know the mortal oscillatory rate of a, of a microbe this harmonic within that wave where it's going like this up and down within the big wave that's the big wave it's doing this up and down and then it's hitting a positive spike that should be more harmful to the actual microbe specifically using it on the uh, specific frequency that is the mortal oscillatory rate of the micro so this is a pretty powerful uh, puppy even though it's not the most expensive by any means it's probably the cheapest rife machine out there in price but it may be the strongest one in features so I want to show you what guys are women what this is about and uh, you know it's going to the truth is going to come out eventually that uh, if you know with by word of mouth and by experimenters what works and what doesn't work in my opinion this probably in my humble opinion this is probably going to be the most effective thing going and uh, it seems to be improvements are coming pretty fast and furious and um, you know the, the word needs to get out there to the public so anyway just want to show you what it looks like on the scope too because it's uh, I'm highly impressed with it anyway over and out